But he might be right in the sense that it is perfectly possible that this would not become an intercontinental war, though you'd be a fool to bet your house on it. But it would very definitely become a short and then intermediary range nuclear exchange of weapons. That means that every city in which most of you are watching me would cease to exist and every person, dog and cat within it would cease to exist. We would be a heap of smoking ash, though no one would be there to photograph it. Every single human being in Europe would be wiped out. If the weapons started to fly, they would not stop flying. Think 1914. Think the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand, of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, now not even a footnote in history. And yet all of us are still feeling the effects of the First World War that was triggered by that assassination. No one now, or even within 12 months in the blood and gore of the trenches, could possibly agree that the killing of the Archduke Ferdinand was worth all of this? Well, that would have been the case. I can't pronounce the name of the tiny village on the Polish-Ukrainian frontier on which this missile fell, and neither can you. I certainly couldn't find it on the map. But my children would be required to die for it if Article 5 had been triggered. On what would if anyone was left to write the history, have been known forever after as an entirely fake, bogus prospectus.